Welcome back to Mike Up. We're brought to you by Sterling Automotive. We had a little football talk. We're going to pause the football talk. We're going to pause the preview of well, the Well, not weekend. necessarily pause it. Yeah, we're we going to pause it. We're going to dip it in there. We're going to we're 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 dip a toe in there. Yeah. with. Uh, we have a former safety, but Just current, See current lefty, who, by the way, your numbers in high Video school are... Game. Absolute. Actually, I don't even think that's video. Outrage. I don't know if you can do that. It's <laughs> like, what is this? All right. What am I reading for, right now? For those of you who don't know, Griffin Herring, left-handed pitcher, 6'2", 200 pounds, from South Lake, South Lake Carroll in Texas. Carroll. Not South Lake, Carol. California. Right? <laughs> Here's his numbers from your senior season. Before we get in there, I'm, I'm, hopefully you don't mind us talking about you, but you came here for a reason, so let's talk about you. No, that's cool. Finish your senior season with a 13-1 record. You had a... 0.24 ERA, 145 strikeouts in 87 innings, right? That's almost two an inning, right? You give up, I guess with a 0.24 ERA, what you got, two runs? Uh, I think it was two. And hey, let me tell you, I, I tried pretty not good. To, I try not to think about it. Hey, no, that's so good. When you're in the moment, you don't, but like... Let me tell you I something. Mean, that's, when I was reading this stuff, I'm looking at it and I'm waiting for it to say like, this was at like a 2A high school. I'm just like, oh what? yeah. Well, here, <laughs> so you led, you led all Texas pitchers in wins, ERA, strikeouts. So you're the first pitcher, six A pitcher in Texas to ever win the Triple Crown. Congratulations. Thank you. It's very, it's very, uh, it's very big. You're one of one. Nobody if, else did it. If you there's any knock on error. that, as if you're a fielder, we're just like, God damn it, we got nothing to do out here. You're striking everybody out. Yeah. I play with the glove on my head. Well, let's get let's get into it though, <laughs> right? You're a lefty, obviously. Elite left-handed pitchers out of high school have a lot more success because it's something that you don't see very often, right? You don't you see righties throw all the time. You don't see lefties. What makes, in your opinion, what makes you so different? Makes you so good? And what allowed you to have the numbers that you had going in last year? I would say honestly, uh, just commanding the zone with three different pitches. I think that that's something in uh, especially high school. Obviously, at the college level, you know, a lot of guys can do it, but. Um, just being able to work in and in and out with the fastball, go down in the zone, go up in the zone, and then um, probably I would say um, my favorite pitch to throw, or probably my better off-speed pitch slider. I, I went to the slider a lot. That nice. was like my go-to pitch, like three-one, two-one, whatever. I'm throwing a slider probably. Did you did you go through a like? Did you have a pitching coach outside of your high school team or your travel, wherever team you played on? And did you go through, like, you know, they had, you know, the pitching labs. And what's the one up in Seattle? Um, drive line. Drive, drive line. line. Like, are you a believer in that kind of stuff? And is that stuff that you've worked on? Or do you do a, you have kind of a different strategy that you go, that, that you go about? So I've got a team of about uh, three or four guys called ZL Performance. Shout out to them. Love it. DL? ZL. ZL. ZL Performance. ZL. What does ZL stand for? Zero Limits. Mm. Okay. Let's ride. Like, Shout out Zero Limits, baby. Yeah. No Limits Soldiers. <laughs> you heard Sounds me. like Russell Wilson. I got the team. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, so um, those guys, they were with me ever since the end of my freshman year. Uh, we had Rap Soto, but the biggest thing there was um, kind of my freshman year, I struggled with, with uh, shoulder problems a little bit. I got injured. I only pitched probably 20, 25 innings my freshman year before I got hurt and uh, once I went over to them they really focused on a lot of like postural therapy recovery things like that and uh, warm-up was a huge thing and that's something I've been very impressed with here at LSU our pitching coach Wes Johnson he's just awesome with the warm-up like we go through an intense regiment every day just before we even throw like throwing is just kind of the once you get to the throwing you're like right finally this is like this is what I've been waiting for but you're going through 30, 40 minutes of like prep before you're even touching a ball. And I that's think like, that that's... That's like when you start doing speed work and you start running and you go work out with a track guy and they do their 35 minute warm up and they're like, all right, and now it's time to start running. You're like, oh no. Wait, that no, wasn't, no, no. that that's wasn't a, our conditioning. Workout, like bro. that, like bro, my hip flexes are tight. My calves are I, I tight. I got nothing for you right I got now. nothing. And then you take a little break. And you're like, damn, I kind of feel good. Yeah, you know, yeah. that's, that was probably around the same, same thing. So, so wait, all right. So you, you know, you've done all that stuff. Um, you come here and this is cool. I, what, can you pinpoint the moment where you felt like, as you know, as you're in high school, where you felt like, all right, this is different. I think I got something here. I feel a lot different than anything else that I've got, that I've ever done, and I feel like I could actually take this to the next level. Well, I actually, um, I actually committed to LSU 
my freshman year huh. of high school. And I want to get to that. We'll, we'll get to that. But keep going. Keep going. I so, do um, I, but I guess I never really tried to think of myself as any different from anybody else on the team. You right. know, I, I tried to try to just be one of the guys, just keep going and kind of use, I guess, the prowess on the field to uplift everybody else. Yeah. And so I never tried to, I worked, I worked out the place that I work out at um, ZL. We had probably 10 or 12 other guys on my baseball team that worked out there with us and underclassmen, guys like that. And it's always just trying to push guys to, to the next level instead of kind of trying to be above them. Nice. Um, before we get to the LSU and why you picked LSU, and you, I mean, you, you commit as a freshman, that's not normal, maybe a little bit more normal now than it used to be in the past, but you spoke about Wes, right? And we talked to, whenever Wes, we talked over the summer when he got hired that that may be the best recruit that Jay Johnson could have gotten because of how successful he's been everywhere he's, everywhere he's been, getting him to come from the big leagues, on a first place team to come do college. You know, I, I know him a little bit and I know people who have played for him and it's just everything that they talk about is glowing reviews. What is What has been your take on him and how he approaches the way he teaches pitching? I would say Wes, he brings a ton of intensity every day. You know, we're in there. He wants, he wants us to be uh, this is kind of his quote, be the hero of your own imagination. So he's really big on, um, on mindset Write and like down, believing in yourself. Somebody told me that in high school, and they, but they were making fun of me, and actually I used it to my advantage. <laughs> look, at, look at me now. Backhead mindset. Yeah, yeah. Backhead mindset on yeah, your shirt. Yeah, yeah exactly. But, um, Ground every day. He is so, he's so knowledgeable. Like um, This is actually kind of a funny story. I, we, went we, to our, we went to our original meeting with him. Um, I came to summer school. So we got our first meeting with him kind of right when he moved here. And he was asking me about um, if I like doing weighted balls and things like that. And I was like, yeah, I've kind of dabbled in them, but not really too big on them. And he said, well, I actually like took part in developing weighted balls. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so you're going to so, get real comfortable. I was like, well, I'll, I'll try them. If you say that they're great for me, then I believe you. I believe yeah. you. Whatever you I'll say, do, coach. I'll do, any, I'll do anything. But he's earned that, good. right? Like, he's yeah. earned, like, based off of his track record, and his experience, and how he is, like, he's earned the benefit of the doubt. Like, hey, if I believe in this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust that you're going to put me in the, in the right situation, right? So he gets hired. You committed to LSU as a freshman, which was four years ago, or four and a half years ago, I guess now. The staff was completely different then. Maneri was there. I'm sure Nolan Kane was recruiting mm -hmm. you. All these guys, right? You committed. You stayed committed. You didn't waver, at least publicly, in your commitment. What made you want to stay to come to like stay here, keep your commitment? And what have you seen from Jay to, you know, solidify or justify your decision to say I'm going to stay committed to LSU? I would say just for starters, the reason I committed in the first place was the atmosphere, the fans, the pedigree, everything about LSU is just, you know, when you think about college baseball, you're thinking about LSU baseball. And uh, with the old coaching staff, I, they, I could tell that they wanted me to be, that's where they wanted me to be. They wanted me to be at LSU. And I didn't get that as much from, uh, or as intensely from other programs. And so when Jay came on, I had, a, I had my first couple of calls with him, and I got that exact same feeling, like he wanted me to stay. Yeah. And I know that a couple of different guys um, from, from the original recruiting class before Jay was hired, they kind of came and went, but Jay made it really clear to me that he wanted me to be here, and that, that was the biggest thing for me. So as a, as a lefty... Like what? What's your? Give me your. Give me your. Give me your numbers. Right? Well, give me like. Well, the LSU hasn't had one quite. That's, that's why I'm asking. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's, we, so that's we're, why we're that's starving why for a lefty. Jay's looking at the numbers. He's like, okay, this guy's giving up two runs. He's thirteen and one. He's striking out two guys in the inning, and he's a lefty. I'm, I'm better. Sound, I'm better like him. Doesn't sound like right? a field like, guy. Yeah, right. So like, what's coming out of that? I'm assuming you throw what mid nineties. Um, Touch mid nineties. I would say in high school I was ninety one, ninety two. Got up to. A three and a four every once in a while, and but um, I assume you only get sli here. slider was the main pitch. Slider right. is like 85, 86. You're wiping people out. Yeah, back leg sliders. Ugh. 
Is so it pretty sharp. He just sure. told you he was yeah. throwing him yeah. in three yeah. one yeah. counts. Yeah. 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 Landing yeah. it how he wants yeah. to. So that's, that's, a, that's a that's that's a fun that's a fun position to be in when you're <laughs> not a fun position to be not in for me. What do you mean? Player, especially for you. Yeah, no. You're a lefty, right? Now, you know. I'm glad you're on our team. I'm glad you're on our side now because I don't, you know, facing you as a lefty, I, I know how difficult that is as a right hand hitter with a hard slider down and in. Um, but Jay's brought in a bunch of guys, right? Like he's brought in a bunch of, he, obviously, the recruiting class, number one in the country. The transfer portal class was number one in the country. So the talent and the amount of guys and dudes that you have on the roster, I think, is probably the best, if not the best, in the country. How excited are you to, to be able to get here and be able to play with these guys and be able to say, as a freshman, hopefully make an impact early on and have a deep run into Omaha and possibly taking on the last championship? Oh, I think it's amazing. We have such a great group of guys. There's just an insane amount of talent. You know, I'm watching, I, I love to just sit there and watch other guys' bullpens because we kind of, um, we'll just rotate in and out like every hour or so on bullpen days. And I'm seeing five, sixes, Grant Taylor's hitting 98s. I mean, he told y'all about Grant Taylor. Said it's, that. it's just, it's, it's crazy, the talent. And I think, I think on top of that, we have a lot of camaraderie already with these guys, especially the older guys. They've done a great job of just like being welcoming. And, you know, I think people get a little worried about hazing and different stuff like that, but they've been nothing but, they've been nothing but great. You like, still got your hair? Yeah, no, uh, no, sh <laughs> no, no hair, hair no haircuts huh? yet. Not yet. Wow. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Hopefully, Not yet. I wonder if it's the thing. So we used to do it, right? Like, we uh, compliance told us about it. Did they? They knew. Oh, yeah. I mean, it come on, Miriam. Compliance told us about it too, but just do, do we, it. the freshmen, our freshman year, our freshmen decided that we were gonna do That's it. That's what right? I'm saying. Do it. We decided that we that were gonna do it. Exact our language. They said even if they decide they want to do it, you still shouldn't do it. That's just, we can hey, do we it here to, for. Charity. We we'll wanted to do money. it. Yeah. Be cool. And we wanted That's to do it idea. because we wanted to bring together the freshman class and have an identity. That <laughs> <laughs> and have the bonding of the freshman class. And I so I got I, we did it, right? So I, obviously they shave our heads. We shave our heads. And we shave funny designs because we're freshmen and we want to be funny and the whole deal. So you go through the whole thing. Go out that we end night. up. We go out that night. <laughs> we end up shaving the rest of it off. We all go. To, we all go to the next team meeting. And this is the old Alex Box Stadium, right? It's before the new one. So they're built. The new one got built my freshman year. We had to practice in the old one in the fall and then go back and forth. And I'm sitting in the front row, second row, and head shaved. And Maneri looks at me. He says, "Damn, Mikey, what happened to your head? Did they force you to do this?" And I'm thinking like. I don't know why did you call this is like first full practice I'm like no coach the freshman decided that we all wanted to do something to really bond together so that we decided to do this and from that point on I was like I got the upperclassmen like, I got the acceptance I was like yes not gonna write anybody out but hazing's bad I don't promote hazing I promote team camaraderie and that's what I want to ask about the team I'm glad you said that because you bring in to me it's easy to bring in the freshmen and allow them to get acclimated with the upperclassmen that have been there, right? Like that's happens every year. That is important, right? That you have a couple, probably usually one or two freshmen a year that takes them a little longer to get acclimated. This year is a little different because you bring in a bunch of guys that have gotten acclimated at other universities and then transferred in, right? So like some people could think, oh, this may be an issue of, you know, chemistry. How have you seen the transfers that have come in that are coming from different schools? How have they fit in? Have they just kind of been like a seamless transition? I know you're just you're new here too, but you've been here all summer, so you've kind of got a feel for a lot of the people around here. Yeah, I would say um, once we got into that second, third week of workouts, um, we still haven't been really merged with the with the hitters a whole lot. We had our first like real team activity at practice today, just like when's the first team practice? When's the first full practice? Um, it'll start next Monday. And that's like a first scrimmage, first day, or no? I think we're scrimmaging. Um, I think he said Friday, that, Saturday, yeah, Sunday. Friday. Well, yeah, Friday. Oh, next week? Well, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to scrimmage on Saturday for the Friday, Tennessee game? No, 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 it's no, going to be Friday, Friday, it's gonna be, Friday, Sunday. Okay, I'm about to say. Well, because well, Jay told me because I probably Maybe gonna Thursday, be, gonna Friday, be out, Yeah, Sunday. he said it's going to be Thursday, Friday, Sunday. Okay, I'm about to say. That's tough game. to give you all yeah. the practice for the 11 a.m. game. Imagine if Jay made him go practice at like 6 that night on Saturday. 
No chance. No, I know. Mean, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, I not, mean, we could right. go, we could go have a good time. It would be fun he to practice. He wouldn't like the product he got. It, no. So yeah. yeah. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. But the team, like, you know, so your first team practice is next Monday, and then you have a scrimmage when? Thursday, Friday, Sunday. Thursday, Friday. Do you, do y'all know like when y'all are pitching yet? Uh, we're not sure. We only yeah. have the schedule for we start. We'll do our first live at bats uh, tomorrow and Friday. So um, that's as far as we've got. But. So 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 let me ask this question, right? Like we can ask a lot of logistic like logistics and stuff like that. Do like do you know does does the team know like what y'all have? Like do you do you feel that aura around the building when you walk around and everybody's like. We have a really good team. Like we're like, fucking good. Like we are loaded. There's like, the, and, I, and I mean it in a borderline confident, cocky way, but still understanding the work that has to be put in, and still understanding the the level of we have to go prove it. But do do y'all know? I don't think there's a lot of a lot of really not like cockiness going around at all. I think Jay Jay's been really big on. Um, I'm trying to remember what he said. It's just like the team that plays better that day is going to win. And so we need to put in the work to be the team that plays better all the time. Even if we have like top tier talent, we still got to do everything we can to, to come together as a team and to play yeah. the best we can. I, I feel well, like Jay is still scarred from a little bit of the what happened in Hattiesburg. In the, yeah, in Hattiesburg where he's like, we were the better team that day and we still lost. And that's what baseball is, right? It could happen at any moment. I was just looking at what happened like – kind of going through your high school career wherever you were a stud as a freshman, get injured, and then lose the state championship, or would you get to the semis your state, uh, your junior year, win it your senior year, whatever you are, the best team in the state. Like, that's what happens in baseball to where it's like, we know that we should win, but you still have to put well, the product on the field. Yeah, but you, and you do. But I guess my point to asking this yeah. question is, is, yes, there is 1,000% a level of work that has to happen. And it's not just work just to be yeah, out there doing it. Complacent. It's intentional work, right? But at the same time, you ain't going to go as far as you can go or as you should go if you don't believe it from the start yourself. Yeah. So there's, there's a difference between like, ah, uh, you know, we think we're kind of good and we're going to work hard and knowing that, oh, hey, that we, like we're really fun. good, you know? And, and that's, what, that's the question I want to know. Like, where is the team in terms of that mindset? Yeah, I would say the mindset is – is Omaha. I mean, that's it. Like, it's just I love that. like, not even, God, I love that. Even you further, clip like, that. That's it. Like it's national simple. championship. Like, yeah. That's, that's the goal. There's yeah. no, there's nothing, nothing less that yeah. I think we're going to be satisfied with. And that's what a lot of people, I mean, people that have come in from like from the team already, that's what they've kept saying. It's like, this isn't a, we didn't put this thing together for no reason. Like it feels like what Jay, John, what Jay Johnson is an intentional, like he's putting everybody together to put to go on a national championship run like this is as close as you get when you get to Hattiesburg you know you lose kind of felt like early for Jay like he thought that they were going to get to Omaha now it's not get to Omaha it's get to Omaha and win and it feels like everybody on the team whether it be through the transfer portal or the freshman that you bring in I am trying to filibuster as long as I can um it like whether it be like through the transfer portal everybody here is brought with the same intention in order to win a national championship yeah, I think that that's good move, that's definitely the mindset. Like, I mean, look behind him. Look at you. That thing was about to go down, though. Yeah, it was about Travis to fall. Daniels was falling down. <laughs> it was about to fall. But I mean, we had guys pass up money in the draft. We had guys like juniors who were draft eligible stay, and I think that it's all just for one goal. Like, that's yeah. We just want to dog pile at the end of the season. Mm. Like, yeah. Oh. Are we going full yeah. doggy? Like, are we going full dog pile? Because I've been seeing a lot of, you know, too much bounce and we need to get tackled. Like, let's go all the way down. If you've seen them. No. What? No. You can get tackled, but let's, listen to me. The, That's the worst feeling. The to be bottom of the pile. <laughs> worth it. Now, I was a center fielder. We were both outfielders, and I was never at the bottom of the pile. And I, I was one time. I always, no, I was one time. I always jumped. It's like, I always tried to, like. Be the guy, or you take the picture when I'm jumping into the pile. Leon stole my stole my thunder Leon's in the legendary. World Series. No, let me tell you what happened. What he did to me. I was the last one on the pile. I jumped. There was one. Leon got off and jumped again. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, are you kidding me? I we did the whole jump in the outfield, celebrate, throw the glove, we run. 
I was running from center field, so I'm like, oh, this is great. I'm last. Jumped off the mound, into the thing, took a little small picture. Then, of course, they didn't get me at my peak. They got me up, like, so you couldn't really see it. Then Leon gets off the pile, jumps up, and they get the perfect picture. I'm like, damn it. Everybody wants that front page picture. See my, see my first now, ever. That front page picture, I'm laying down on top of the pile. You can see my last name, and he's up perfectly. See, my first ever, it happened, uh, O-Box, Super Regional win, game three, right? We blew out Irvine, right? Yeah, we all got Well, he ball took trick. the starters out. So the starters were on the bench at this time, right? We've never done this before. Ball game over. We dogpile. We're like the first ones on the dogpile. I had a huge, like, strawberry strawberry on my knee from sliding. Yep. Somehow I jumped in. Somebody's cleat literally oh. like, pulled a chunk of it out <laughs> at the bottom of it. And I'm like, I just remember jumping on, like, oh, yeah. And like two seconds later, I'm like, oh, my, <laughs> get off of me. So we did dog pile. So ever from then, I'm like, yeah, yeah. We, I'm going to find a way to get on this thing and yep. then just slide to the side and off the side. So we did dog pile and won the SC tournament. We did dog pile and we won the super. And we did dog pile when we won Omaha in 2009, right? When we won the SC tournament, I was running, and I was the same thing. About to jump off the mound, the camera guy was filming, and he ended up literally, like, in my line of path of, like, where my you jump You should have tackled him. No, even better. <laughs> so he's, like, I'm not joking. He is like this. Like, he is with the camera, and he's like this. And he's like, wherever, and I, I have nowhere to go. <laughs> I go... And I use the you top of, I topped of the mount. <laughs> I use the top of the mount, and I'm jumping over him like I'm like I'm posterizing him. And they take the picture of me in his head, his head doing this way, and me on top of him going into the pot. I'm like, this is the sickest picture ever. <laughs> I have it somewhere. I, I got to send it to you. But it was it was oh, sick. Dude, that's a new studio. It's sick. Yeah, it was sick. But to your point, it's Omaha or bust, right? Like that's the mindset. That's the mindset it should be. The talent is there. Um, that's always what you want when you come to LSU. That's the expectations of the fans. That's the expectation of the players mm. on the team. The fact oh, there mm. I am. I'm on the ground. I'm on top. Yeah, I'm on the other side, sliding off. Um, <laughs> but y'all have the horses this year to do it. Y'all are the last year. The team was lacking in starting pitching. I feel like the starting pitching this year could be the strength of the team, based off the guys they brought in, based off the recruits they brought in, um, and it's going to be very exciting to see you and the freshmen develop and see the guys that have been brought in to like mesh together because that's that's important right let's get back to going like your your track up tell us you right because obviously you know the numbers speak them for themselves you went to south lake carroll no i mean south lake carroll hall of fame has to be pretty imp- i mean you can, i can let's go drew Brees. it's been known since no, before drew, i was in high school no drew didn't go to south lake huh yeah he was austin westlake awesome oh, okay. we did have the kicker for the saints when they won the super bowl oh okay. yeah uh, hartley. hartley who else did y'all have who else chase came out of south lake? Adderall, chase, daniel. chase daniel who else um, don't you have a few other baseball players that have come out of south lake uh, ross stripling ross stripling oh, yeah. yeah i forgot yeah. Ross. so like, they have some they have some y'all have some dudes that come out of south lake carroll um and some other guys that I'm playing. Yeah, no, y'all you know? are always good in sports. Though. Right. That's always been a thing. Um, yeah, right. Definitely. But being in Texas, like A&M, Texas, University of Texas, like they didn't, they weren't, they Honestly, didn't do it for you? They didn't move the needle for you? When I, when I committed, I had one offer, LSU. Wow. I mean, that was, that was it. That's all you needed. I was never really. Um, you were a freshman. So did you grow up? Did you grow up as an LSU fan, or did you like you grew up as a baseball fan? You knew the tradition of LSU, and once they came calling, you're like, that's it. That's all I want. That's where I want to be. I definitely didn't grow up as an LSU fan. Right. Um, I was playing in a. I was playing in a tournament, 14U WWBA. So, which kind of sounds kind of ridiculous World to say now. Atlanta. But, uh, yeah, but I was yeah, playing gonna... on a team with uh, Eddie Furnace's son. And so Kane came to watch and talk to Eddie, saw me pitching, gave me a camp invite. I went to the camp probably about three, four weeks later. I committed, and that was nice. I, I hated the calls with coaches and things like yeah, that. Yeah, it so gets a little just... bur- it's cumbersome. Yeah, for sure. So especially at 14 like, years old. Especially <laughs> Nolan, Jesus. But playing in – yeah, especially. <laughs> so Nolan's one, of our, one of, Nolan's one of our best friends. So it's yeah. – but being in Texas, like baseball in Texas is obviously elite, right? Texas, California, California Florida, Florida, Georgia a little bit, but more like the bigger states, right? So I'm sure growing up, being there, you've played against and with a ton of talented people, right? So your dad – 
was kind enough to give us some information <laughs> via the internet. <laughs> and <laughs> what is that? I don't know why it does. This. I love it. I love it though. It gives us information to be able to, to to ask you and talk to you and makes us feel a lot more comfortable, right? So So Bobby Witt took you yard? Is that what we heard? Basically he said Bob Almost. <laughs> no, no. He said you faced Bobby Witt. Tell me how that because as a freshman. For those of you who don't know who yeah. Bobby Witt is, he is should. he you should. Bobby Witt Jr., he's in he's in the big leagues at what? He's 21, 22? Something like that. Like, yeah. didn't take him long to sort through the minor leagues. What is the number one pick, right? Yeah, number yeah. one pick, 2020 guy. Was he number one today? Two. Number two. Two mm-hmm. overall. Who's number one? Adley Rushman was. Adley was uh, he's pretty good, too. They're both he's not bad. What, yeah. What's your major? Finance. Yeah, you're smart. You I was a finance you. major. You never said I was smart. <laughs> I call, sometimes I call you, you you're smart, but you hey, can just tell up. the memory recall. Yeah. He hasn't been through the whole college experience well, yet. Well, he says school is easy. Got, you got, yeah, you got, yes, your I brain got brain so like, when we talk to him in three years, I'm sure it'll be a little no, bit different. No, 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 he's, no, <laughs> come on. He's locked in. I He's ready not. to go. Yeah. He's, you know, you're ready to go. <laughs> I hope so. But still, just, 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 this when, you faced him, when you faced him, you're like, damn, this guy's a real deal or what? Yeah, no, he was um, – when you're looking at him from kind of across across the dugouts, he doesn't look that imposing. And then you go through, like, the shaking, like shaking their hands line. And, yeah, it's just like his forearm is just like the size of my cat. Was like, he scratching I, your elbow when he shook your hand? <laughs> <laughs> but um, he was he, – he definitely had a presence in the box. I actually – he actually popped up in foul territory 0-1. And our first baseman missed no. it. And in my head, I'm like, oh, I can strike him out. Like, this will be sick. Right. And then he hit it off the wall. And I was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> At least it didn't go over. At least yeah. didn't go Just give over. me another ball. <laughs> oh. You grew up with Quinn Ewers as well. Um, he is, for those of you who don't know, he have been living on a rock for two years. He's the guy who got the first big NIL deal to go to Ohio State. He left high school early. Ended up not working out. Transferred back to his home state. Is at Texas. Looked very, very good against Alabama. He would have beat Bama if he I, won the whole game. He would have beat him. I don't. It's hard to say he would have, but it looked like it was going that way. It looked like if he was there, he looked good. He looked very good. Came out the game. He gets high. hurt. He dresses out last week. Now he's probably starting this week. You got to grow up with him. Did you know when you saw him? You said you weren't tight, tight with him, but you knew him enough to where you knew how good of an athlete he was. Do you know he was going to be like this elite of a quarterback, or did that kind of come later? Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. I think everybody knew. Yeah, he just because he was rock, just, huh? his arm. His arm is crazy, and he he's a big game player. Like all all through high school, we played um, we would play Duncanville our sophomore year. He's like 15, 16 years old, whatever, and throwing for like four hundred fifty yards against a top ten team in the country. But I say Duncanville's always really good yeah, too, right? How do you know that? Legit. They were on TV early this yeah, year. They're on TV every year. Okay. I literally yeah. saw him play this year. Touche. Sorry, I didn't know that. Big ESPN guy. I don't, I don't, big, big, high school, big high school guy. I think he's a big sports guy. I have my TV has one channel. A lot of people kind of hated on him for, for taking the NIL deal. I don't but, know. I mean, he was just – yeah, I don't. I don't blame him. He was him. just doing what he what he needed to do. I mean, if, well, no, if, if Texas would have had it available, he'd have gone there. But it's yeah, like, exactly. hey, what? Look Texas at, said look no. At, Ohio said yes. Yes. And, and, well, no, they, the, the the rules were different, so you can't blame him for going up there. And I get to get out of high school early. Like I get to go live the college life. I don't have to really do anything. You wouldn't expect it to start. And so that's not a bad deal for me. And I put a little money in my pocket. Anybody would have done it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame him. Did you – you played – we talked a little off here. You played multiple <laughs> sports growing up. You didn't just play – you weren't just a baseball player, right? You played football. Played, ba- played basketball. But um, basketball kind of conflict. I, I always yeah, love playing basketball, yeah, but it conflicts with baseball. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, What position in, in basketball? I mean, I guess like – Forward, I, it yeah, never really. No, I position, started, positionless <laughs> game now. I, I had to stop playing in after eighth grade. Okay, so okay. I just yeah. played like yeah, gotta, so I just played pickup. Yeah, and stuff. yeah, yeah. And then you were a safety in football, right? Safety in football, big hitter. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he laid. You're the a head hunter. Yeah, yeah. 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 When I was Suicide about 165 mission. pounds, that's it. <laughs> we're all 160 into it, baby. Uh, are you still a football fan? Suicide. Yeah, I, I keep up with it. Um, I'll keep up with guys that I know. Like like uh, when Quinn played Alabama, I watched the whole game. But um, I'm a Cowboys fan. Mm, I knew you were going to say that. Oh, it's boy. It's okay. I won't hold it against you. I you mean, held it in for a while. You did a good job. I wasn't quarterback, quarterback, quarterback controversy? controversy? Like, quarterback controversy? 
Cooper Rush yeah, I mean, gonna be the guy? Dak Cooper Rush gonna be the guy? Dak he looks makes, good. He's Dak, gotta be. He's Dak undefeated. Got no choice. What if he keeps winning games and Dak comes back? Is you, you put Dak in? Yeah, he makes too much money. I think you do. I think you do. You pay I him too much for him to not be wow, your what, starter. Can you imagine Cooper Rush taking the team and they go? He's going six and zero. Oh, Dak comes back. He comes back and Dak goes ahead and loses two games in a row when he comes back. Boy, what is gonna happen to Dallas when you know, that? It's not that you don't have to. If he loses one game, it's gonna be wow. Like, on fire. I will hope that happens because Jerry Jones can't keep his mouth shut. Oh, Jerry God. Jones is going to run his mouth to the media and oh, I can't God. wait to hear what happens because it's good for us <laughs> to talk about it. Jerry Jones doesn't believe in modern medicine. They asked him about Dak's injury. It's like, well, it's usually six to eight weeks. He's like, I mean, I think we can do it in about three weeks. And they're like, nope, everybody that's ever done this has been about six to <laughs> eight unless weeks. Unless, like, we'll see about that. <laughs> unless you're Mike Trout. When Mike Trout shattered or messed his ligament up in his finger, they said, oh, you're going to be out two months. Mike Trout was back in five and a half weeks. And nobody ever noticed. He's a joke. He could have sat out. Nobody uh, would have known. What? He did sit out. That's what I'm saying. Nobody knows what Mike Trout does because nobody pays attention to Angel Baseball. Oh, it's unbelievable. He's, Mike Trout's going to hit 40 homers if you want. He's more. missed two months and he's going to hit 40 homers. Aaron Judge isn't going to hit. He's not going <laughs> to. Aaron, Aaron Judge has to hit He's 61. not going to be able to get to 61. He's not going to do it. I told y'all. This is shaping up. This is making my prediction. I wish I put money on it, but I didn't. Prediction more likely to happen. When he hits 61, 62 is coming that same game. He's going to tie it and break the record in the same game, especially because it's been, what, eight games since he's hit a home run? Yeah, and they they keep no, nine. Out. It's they been nine straight. Hey, let's talk about this, though. Since we're talking about Aaron Judge, like if you right now, yes. like if you right Aaron. now were to get on the mound and you're facing Aaron Judge, you're in the big leagues. What would you be trying to do? And he's trying to hit the 61st homer. I'm trying to get him out, right? Yeah, no, definitely. You're not walking him, like intentionally walking him? No, no, I'm not going to intentionally walk him. I mean, I think you just got to go with your guns. You might get. Couple of back foot sliders. But are, are you trying maybe to be, try, maybe try to flip one over? Are you trying to strike? be really fine? Or are you trying to actually attack him? Well, like, what are, what are you trying to do? Because I don't I get think, the feeling that a lot of these guys are really. Well, here's trying to my attack deal: right if now. I give up the homer, if I give up the homer. I'm, my face, face is on. Is my face is, is on like forever. I'm good with it. It's like the guy that gave up the 700. Yeah. To pool. But I just it. don't feel like they feel that way right now. Who cares? Hey, listen, that, unless I throw you a cookie, like if I'm trying to get you out and you beat me, bro, he beat 60 other people today, this year too. It's okay. And you get pub. You get, do you get the feeling that You're they're actually question. trying to do that right now? Or do you get the feeling that everyone's like, I don't want to be the guy? I mean, I think it probably depends on the pitcher, honestly. Like, veteran guys probably are just going right at him. Maybe if you're, I mean, if you're a rookie or somebody facing Aaron Judge, you probably have a little bit of nerves. Yeah. I mean, it's easy for me to say sitting in this studio that I would go after him. <laughs> yeah. But, like, if I'm actually on the mound facing him, I think I'd probably, probably have some nerves going. Did right. you um well because he's he's he drew four straight walks the other game like they're clearly pitching around him because I think a lot of pitchers are thinking the opposite where I don't want to be the guy on Sports Center where you just see the back of my jersey and everybody like that highlight lives forever because of he, where we're coming from at like post steroid era nobody's yeah. approached this number this is like they're cutting into college football games to show this so I think you get a little bit of that for inf- like yeah. you'll be infamous yeah but who cares no nah, but but I, we say that but I don't I don't really I, like I think you get a little bit of that mindset and I think you get a little bit of guys right now that are trying to be just way too fine I guess I mean I, I, I mean can't. I'll just I'll put it like this and look I get it you know roll dice out there you never know what can happen right but when was the last time he walked four times in a game Seven, 2017 is Rick. All right. It hadn't happened all year. He's been hitting homers all year. All of a sudden, now he's walking four times in a the game. They're pitching around him for he sure. He does get one of the worst zones in the Oh, league. he's got one of the most awful zones. I've Wait, seen him but he is ball. seven foot two. Well, zone, so, yeah, you know. but that's the other issue. Let's, the zone ain't the same for everybody. No, it's not. All right. Not him right. and Altuve's zone are completely different. Yeah. Let's figure that out, right? What do you mean uh, by it gets, uh, like, from a pitcher's perspective? Yeah, I uh, I watch like the daily pitching ninja video pretty much every day, and he calls it the judge zone, and it's pretty much like from here to like here. Yeah, he'll he'll get calls at his shins, that, like, I, I balls that they're called, used yeah. to sticking that they that umpires see like oh that's the same spot he he's been sticking, and they're like oh it's a strike. Well, his shins a little bit longer than like <laughs> yes. oh, six seven. He's not yeah, the same guy. Works the, the same way. way. <laughs> Just while we're talking about the MLB, we had a question in the chat if there's any major league pitcher that you kind of watch a lot model your game after anything like that um 
this is kind of an older guy, and this Love is kind that. of a personal uh, scenario because he actually he uh, has been working out with the same guys over at ZL. But uh, Cole Hamels, uh, he's a guy that I, I've watched. I've watched a lot. Try. I just had a feeling you were hey. gonna say like Barry Zito or something. Yeah. Like that. Cole Hamels <laughs> in the book. Oh, yeah, he he's in the book. Yeah, a little safe. Oh, look. He's in the book. I like. He's a good. So you know, he's he's basically what Mikey's telling you is that he would hit something really far off you. That's just what he said. <laughs> no, that's what I you. heard him say. I that's what I heard him say. Look, there's a reason why I'm, I'm have a show and I'm in the studio. I'm not playing baseball, right? Now, right? Like, <laughs> but uh, Shane McClanahan too. He's nasty. Watched a lot yeah. of Shane McClanahan. He's nasty. Yeah. He is sick. He throws cheese balls too. Yeah. I, hopefully, I can throw. 98, hey, 99. You haven't even tapped into. I mean, you're just a baby face. Like, you haven't even tapped into the ability that you're going to get as you get older, right? Like, everybody that comes, like, you don't want to be tapped out right now. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if, if you came to LSU throwing 97, like, that's about that's all you're going to get. Like, I mean, it's great, but are you going to be able to sustain that? Now you have the ability to go this way and say, hey, I'm, I'm loaded in the 90s right now. Get me into this throwing program. Get me into a system where I'm throwing every seven days, every six days, whatever it is. Who knows? Maybe I'm sitting 95, 97 from the left side. Did you get any draft talk coming out of high school? Did you get drafted out of high school? Um, did they talk to you about like where they wanted you to go, where would you want to go? Um, honestly, not, not a ton. Um, I, I really started to get a little more velocity and a little better stuff kind of towards more of the playoffs in high school. And so um, just kind of limited looks, but I don't, I didn't throw hard enough for yeah. the draft. So that, I, mean, I mean, that's, it, that's I mean, but I, I wanted to come here to develop. Like yeah. I wasn't going to go and sign for pocket change like just that. to go, go and, um, you know, sit in Arizona. Or yeah. Sit um, I mean, we talk about that all the time. I value my experience in college at $3 million. If you didn't give me $3 million, it was two. And the more I've seen things and the more I go back and think about my time here and how much I did develop, like $3 million. If, if I wasn't good enough to get $3 million out of high school, I think that was going to be more beneficial for me to go to college and develop and just based off of my experience. So I'm, I'm with you. I think that it's, you know, there's some guys that are different, you know, like Bobby Witt, high school guy, second overall, got – what, seven, eight million dollars. Adley went to college, but he's the first. Like, guys are different, different timetables. For me, I'm excited that you are in school, one, and two, because I'm excited to see you tap into the ability that you have, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you started to see it towards the end of your senior year. Like, your senior year obviously was, was nasty. You learned how to pitch. Now the velo is going to come later, even more velo, because now you don't, it's not like you throw 87, like, you throw hard. You know, the velo is going to come later, and you already know how to pitch, which that's the hardest part is understanding yourself, understanding how to pitch, right? Getting, so like, getting an opportunity to come to school and do, you know, play baseball at a more frequent basis and getting a chance to learn yourself, right, before you become a professional is, you know, it's, it'll, it'll take you higher than you ever thought if you take that, you know, that time seriously. So the fun stuff. Let's yeah, talk yeah of fun, course. Let's, let's talk the fun stuff now, too. So we, we're, we, can pep, we can talk you up all day right but you're in college you're at LSU it's a great place to be football season's here it's fun um y'all just moved into these new oh they're awesome awesome they're so we were in WCA wait where do y'all live uh Nicholson the new ones like across like uh like where Mathurns and stuff is like on that sh side oh they're, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah they're yeah. right where the old box yeah 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 was. yeah right where like, like right new, field was and hey <laughs> four bedroom yeah kitchen everybody's got their own bathroom Boy, right? Am I right? It's like the dryer. Taj Mahal over there. Hey, so so we used to be in WCA. You had it was a four bedroom, small <laughs> rooms are tiny. You had two rooms on each side, two rooms on each side, bathroom inside, kitchen. You had a washer dryer there too, but it's very tiny. These, from what I've been told, are awesome. Who are your roommates? Um, Aiden Moffitt, Nick Bronzini, and Chase Shores. Nice. Okay. nice. It's a good so combo. I feel nice. small in my room. Yeah, it's a, it's a <laughs> real small. Those are some monsters. I feel, um, I feel small at practice every day. Hey, Our team is pitchers. It's the pitchers too. Yeah. Yeah. All the pitchers are like yeah. It's all that's all. My last four years of trees. playing professional baseball, I'm walking out the bus and I'm six, just under six two, right? Like I'm not a small guy, and I'm like, damn, I, I'm walking next to six six, six five, six seven. They're all they're pitchers. All trees, I'm like, bro. That's hey, what dude, they do. Y'all gotta get away from me. 
Y'all walk somewhere else. Like I can't, I can't do that. That's just the way they're built. And then you get the guys who are what are you six two, six three. Probably six two. Yeah, and you have guys that are six two, which is still very tall, very athletic, and those guys go out there and show off. Sonny Gray was. 5'11". 5'11". You know, maybe like, not even. I don't Jack even know if there's that. Yeah, yeah, right. Like it doesn't really matter necessarily, but you know, there's a lot of monsters out there. Um, have Dude. you been to a football game yet? I have. Which I've, ones? Uh, all of them. All of them. You love it. Yeah. You haven't no, really gotten the full. Is that your first time being in one, or did you come when you came to visit? I came on a visit. Okay. So. What, what 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 year was the visit? It was uh it was last year. It was uh, the so Arkansas was, game. It was still lost, trying to right? get after the uh, COVID. Like it wasn't. Yeah, there was a there was a decent amount of people, yeah. but um, nothing like insane. Oh, when Tennessee comes, you'll see. Well, I was whoa, hoping. Whoa. I know. I was hoping Tennessee would be like a night game or a two thirty game where you could really get the feel of it. I think you're really gonna get the feel. You're definitely gonna get the feel for the Alabama game, and I would assume probably the Ole Miss game. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, you will still have the same row, obviously, in the student section. You'll get y'all's own spot. Yeah, it's pretty much great. like right on the right on the front. Mm-hmm. So pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. It's it's just a crazy experience, like being an athlete. Yeah. Where you, I just show up, show my tiger card, get my ticket, and just. And how mad are people at you? <laughs> I, Have you not, gotten yelled at yet? Nah. Because I I've gotten yelled at walking in. Right before the game starts, and all these students have been in line. Mikey waiting. elbowed three people to get in. That's why. Wait, wait, y'all have a. Dri- oh, I'd imagine we, we have a different like, gate. Oh. Yeah, we have kind of. It's like a side <laughs> entrance. It's yeah. A gate. So we go. Excuse me, excuse me. And you shimmy through, and they don't want to let you go because they think you're cutting. You know, I'm just gonna get by you, and you get by you, and then you just they walk. They see you walk to the little side gate, see the ID, and then they. They just watch you walk in, and then when they walk in, they see you on the front row, and like these motherfuckers. Right here. Like, and so you get some drunk guys who yell at you and get this guy, fuck this guy, he can't be waiting all day. <laughs> well, sorry, guy. He's zero for fourteen the last time he played. Yeah. Well, you know, they forget about that by football season. Yeah, yeah. Thankfully, <laughs> thankfully. Um, how excited are you to be able to play in front of? type of crowd and the type of energy that you get here. I know all the people part- you skip in line. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all the people that you skip in line that are going to motherfuck you because you skipped them are the same ones that are going to be in the outfield motherfucking the other team and yelling, right? Like that's what's going to happen. So like that was part of your decision to come here. How excited are you to actually see it in person and like be on the field? I think it's kind of hard for me to for me to describe how I'm going to feel cuz I haven't really felt it yet. But right. just I think I think it's going to be amazing. Yeah. I think it's going to be so awesome. I played our our high school drew drew some decent crowds towards the playoffs and sometimes I'd be up there looking at you know two, three, maybe maybe three and a half thousand. I'm like, wow, wow. this is a lot That's of pretty good for a high school. This game. is a Strong lot of people. Game. Wait till you see and twelve. Then, yeah. And then exactly. wait till you get to Omaha and see thirty five. Yeah. That's that's just That's fun. That's gonna be it's that's fun. gonna be just awesome. It's gonna be I'm really looking forward to it. You got anything else you want to ask him? No. I, I mean, dude, you have I mean, to put a three and a, three and a half thousand people in high school. I know. And then, like, that's as big as it gets for most people. And then you're like, oh, hey, wait, bro, they do let's do- go four times that and be like, <laughs> I actually want more. Of, like, I want more. Like, this is going to be – because you're going to be out there. You're going to be one of the guys that you're brought in by Jay Johnson. LSU needed left-handed arms. You're going to be pitching in those moments. And for you to be able to, like – there's not many people, they say that they want it, but you can tell you've been out there from freshman to senior year out of, what, 5A, 6A high school? 6A. 6A. Like, you're built for this moment. Have like, you, and you're going to be able to go out there and enjoy it. Have you had conversations? I'm sure it's so early, you don't really, they don't really know yet because they haven't gotten people in the games, but have they had conversations with you about starting, maybe coming out the bullpen, or they say, well, we're building you up. Obviously, they're probably trying to build you up as a starter, right? I honestly, I have no idea. Yeah, have um, we haven't had any conversations like that. But just personally, like any innings that I can yeah, find, you know, midweek, weekend, it doesn't matter to me. I just want to get out there. What you need? Gamer. Gotta have that. Give hey, me the ball, coach. coach. Selfless. Give me gamer. the rock and hey, give like, let boobies. Call my number. You know what I mean, I know, me the ball I, know we have a, uh, I know we have a stretch where we're playing like seven games in ten days or something. So 
I think it, I think um, I think a lot of guys are going to get opportunities and yep. just got to capitalize on. Don't them. sleep. Hey, don't sleep on. I'm telling you right there. I've been looking at the schedule. Oh, I know. Knows it, I know this sure. is a golden opportunity yeah. range for me that's, right here. Hey, don't sleep on him knowing that. It's a good move. That's a that's a that's a veteran move right there. Veteran, veteran from the rook. That's a good. Like, that's give a me the ball. And I'll show you why I need to throw more. <laughs> that's it. That's exactly what he's doing. I love that's it. All, that's all I can do is just get the ball. That's yeah. it. I love it. Get the ball and let me go. Give me the opportunity. That's all you can ask for is the opportunity. It's up to me to make to make the most of it. Um, I mean, the mindset's there. I appreciate you coming on the show because this is awesome. I, we love talking baseball. We love talking football. We love talking all sports. But we, obviously, baseball is what paid us. And so we like to talk it and dabble in it. And LSU is where we started it, right? And so this is – it's a lot. It, it's, uh, hit, it, hit, it hits home for us. And we, we want it to succeed. Right? We want LSU to succeed. We don't want – we were the last national championship in 2009. Like, I don't want to say that anymore. Like, I don't – I go ahead and win it and just make it ha- make it, make it relevant He's again. just saying you know that because I mean? the picture didn't turn out the way you No. <laughs> no. Go get the ring, you know. Oh. I do have a question. Oh, go ahead. Oh, go go ahead. ahead. No, you go. I was going to say, is Quinn Ewers going to – have you talked to him? Is he making a plan to come back? Because we are sponsored by Caesars. So, I'm just – any <laughs> <are> sponsored by Caesars. <laughs> I, I haven't talked to him in a while. It's Drew Brees was trying to shoot him up with all a bunch of steroids to get him back in the game. <laughs> On Twitter, and everyone's like, Drew, calm down, dude. The guy's hurt. But your question. My question <laughs> is, when you, walk into the, when you walk into the clubhouse, right, the first time practice starts, it's like Christmas, right? Lockers are decorated. You have all of your clothes and your shoes and your whatever. Now, I did this. He may not have done it because he was playing football at the time, so he already had his gear. Every freshman that I've ever seen, including me, once you get – I was about to say, don't you even try to exclude Including me. (laughs) Including me. Once you go to – once you get into the locker room and you get all the gear, Coach, I'm wearing that gear to to campus for the next two months. Is that that like – is that still the thing? Like, hey, we got all this shit? Because now you all get real cool stuff. Back then – we had some Nike stuff, but like we had Russell as well, and like Easton gave us some stuff. It was like, eh. now, <laughs> now y'all get like some real good stuff. Yeah, I would say I would say you see a lot of a lot of LSU baseball. Uh, it's okay, you know, given merch right. out there. I, I don't issue. Probably, I probably wear team issue. issue. Yeah, <laughs> team issues. Hey, like they know. But, Saying um, hasn't gone anywhere. <laughs> I don't know. I probably wear it like once a week. That's fine. Something like I did. That. It. I wore it all the time. I mean, I, like I'm not. We had these sweatpants. Mm. I wish I still had them. Now, they don't fit the style now because they're like the baggier, but like they're gray. You remember the gray ones? Like the football had them. They were fire. Like the best sweatpants I've ever had. And then I lost them. But uh, <laughs> I don't think you lost them. You think someone stole them? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you sneak into my house and steal my stuff? No, no, like, that's not what I'm saying. No, I figured you're not picking up what he's I mean, putting yeah, down. Yeah, Just go ahead, keep going. Yeah. That's the one thing that's not leaving the apartment. <laughs> I mean, there's not those don't. I'd say, oh, watch God. yourself. Watch that. They're out for you. He they, tried to let you go. You yeah, just you kept prodding with this. <laughs> those thing. don't, but those don't fit. Doesn't matter. <laughs> They're not wearing that. Uh, there's a drawstring. Yeah, they're gonna cut them up. They're not wearing that. Bro, they were still in for right. Were- hey, now listen, I've lost some many a Lululemon shirts. That's uh, I, I regret that. I've lost. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I've lost many a fraternity I've, shirt. I've, I don't, oh, I've lost. God. I've lost some LSU gear. What is this? Gear. The red light special right now? <laughs> I've lost some LSU gear that I wish I could get back. I ain't getting it back. We're just trying to pre- trying I'm to prepared. warn you about the you know that I'm gear. Prepared. You only get it for the I'm year. Talking, gotta, I don't know what y'all are talking it. about. I'm talking about my friends coming into my apartment and using my clothes. I don't know what y'all are talking about, but that's all I'm talking about. Oh, God. Oh, no. I mean, I'm from Lafayette. My boys would come in and say, my <laughs> Oh, God. I don't know what y'all are saying. I mean... This is a children's show, boys. What y'all talking about here? Hey! Hey! Oh, my God. What's so funny? Say it oh, like man. that way better. Oh, God. Lloyd can't even get up. That might be an all-time show moment. Okay. I'm just going to be honest with you. Oh, my God. All right. Lafayette, man. what's your LSU gear? I told you, we don't take it. And they're guys. Oh, awesome. We, uh, man, I appreciate you coming on. 
anytime you want to come on, especially as the season starts to unfold, we get Jay on all the time. We get a lot of guys that come in and out. We like to use this as a forum, yeah. conversation. Anytime you just want to come out. We'll get you and one of your roommates next time, man. Y'all yeah. can both yeah. hang out. Everyone come out. You know, we'll this get is, Chase on. Chase said he wants to come on. This is kind of uh, what we try to do, man. And, and I like to get to know y'all. I'm a big fan of yours, you know, especially after hearing you and your mindset and the way you go about things. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you go out there and ball out. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm looking forward to being in the stadium and watching you play. And, uh, you know, watching you become a first rounder. You know I mean, yeah. so appreciate you coming on, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I had man. a lot of, I had a great time. Anytime, so. dude. Wish you the best of luck, health, and everything, man. Yep. Thank you better you. have Thank no you. gear next time you come in here. No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm going to have all Unless gear. somebody else took it from me. <laughs> I'm saying. Unless somebody else took it from me. my buddies from Dallas. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> well, that's it. That's it. No, you know, I don't want to get you in trouble, but. I don't know if there's someone to get in trouble with, because we, we've gotten someone in trouble before on here. Woo. No, not we. Yeah, Lloyd did, actually. Lloyd, I, did, Lloyd did that. I feel like that was Jack. They ended up breaking up, thanks to you. See, look, you, you said it. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, if you can't get through the tough times together, then oh, you're I not built You oh. outed him. Oh. Okay. I didn't do I that. Do, I do have a girlfriend. See? So. There, oh, there see, you go. Okay. See, yeah. So see. she can have all your gear. There you go. That's She's where you're going to stolen gonna plenty of gear. Perfect. There you go. There you go. See? It all comes full circle. That's it. It's not your friend from home. All right, <laughs> we're gonna take we're gonna take a thirty second break. We're gonna get Griffin out of here. We're gonna come back, talk a little football, talk a little Saints, talk a little uh, Thursday night football, talk a little gambling because I have some money on the line coming on this weekend. Or actually, not not this weekend yet. I gotta win tomorrow because to, I don't want to replenish my account yourself. again. I don't want to do it again. I gotta win tomorrow. All right, uh, thirty second break. You're watching Mike.